cook, she got the recipe She got what you need That girl can cook, that black girl magic I gotta have it hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make some good old southern style devil eggs y'all the classic simple way okay so look if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and let's get started all right y'all so look we're gonna start off with about 10 large eggs and as you can see i'm placing them directly into the pot there is no water honey we're gonna pour the water in there in a little bit all right so look you want to take about six cups of water you really don't have to measure it you really just need enough water to cover the tops of the egg you want to cook the whole egg y'all don't let these little chocolate eggs go to waste because you missed them up all right so add just enough water just so you can cover the tops and we're going to bring this water to a hard boil over high heat and y'all let me tell you something when i boil my eggs i don't really have a lot of tricks but what i do like to do is once i get it to boiling i turn the heat off and i cover it and i let it sit for 10 minutes y'all see that okay and guess what if you don't want to do this you can skip this step all together by purchasing eggs that's already boiled and peeled because I know some folks just don't like boiling eggs but this is how I do mine and like I said I don't have any tips and tricks for boiling and peeling eggs y'all I just take my time every time when I take my time you know it just it just come out right I mean that's just how it is I'm sorry um, I know people add vinegar and salt and all this kind of stuff y'all just take your time boiling and peeling it it, I mean, steady win the race, all right? See that? Boom, done, all right? So once you get your eggs peeled, we're going to set those aside, and then we're going to carefully slice them vertical lengthwise. At least that's how I'm doing it. If you want to slice it the other way, be my guest. But look, that's a perfectly cooked hard-boiled egg, all right? And once you get them sliced, you want to separate the yolk from the white. Go ahead and drop them yolks in a bowl, in a bowl that's going to be large enough for you to use because we got to mix this stuff up okay so i have all of my yolks in here that's 10 yolks and this recipe is for 10 yolks and if you're using more you may want to you know amp that up a little bit okay but um you want to gently mash those until it's nice and crumbly just like this if you want to use a food processor you can and i'm going to add about a fourth cup of mayo that's four tablespoons but I'm gonna add in my mayo one tablespoon at a time. Because let me tell y'all, I mean, I done made this recipe many, many, many times. But I'm telling you, you messed it up and you make it too runny, that's gonna be your fit, your fault. Okay, don't come over here blaming me. I be trying to tell y'all, all right? So there's a third tablespoon. I added in the second tablespoon. As you can see, I'm adding it in little at a time. I don't want no runny eggs. If I hold my egg up, it should not be running over. Okay, all right. Now look, I'm adding in a heaping tablespoon of my sweet pickled relish. If you like the dill relish, you can use that. But you know, down here we like things a little sweet. Just a little bit, except for our cornbread. I don't know about that. But um, I put the sweet relish in there. And you can add that to your own liking. And I like to add in that last tablespoon after I add in my seasonings and stuff. Because y'all, sometimes that relish will make it a little wet now. All right, so we're going to season it up with some white pepper, a half teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. If you want to just use salt, you can. I'm using a half teaspoon of garlic powder, which is optional, and one teaspoon of sugar. Y'all, this is not going to make it too sweet, but it got to have a little sweetness to it. It has to, okay? It, I'm telling y'all, trust me, it's going to balance it out. But you can definitely put in what you want to, all right? All right. So once you mix all of that up, we're going to add in that last tablespoon of mayo. Now, the reason why I'm adding it in last is because sometimes that relish and that sugar will take this doggone feeling to the next level and it'll be running over like your cup. And we don't need that for this, for this recipe, okay? All right. So, look, if you want to make it thinner, you can add a little bit more mayo. I like this consistency, so this is what we're going with, all right? So, if you need to get you a Ziploc bag and poke a hole in it, go ahead and do that. But I do have some disposable uh, piping bags in my cabinet, so guess what I did? <laughs> I took it and I put it in there. I was supposed to bake some cakes and I never did. So, I mean, hey, here they go. We're going to use them, all right? But just take any type of Ziploc bag or piping bag. And if you don't want to use a bag, you can always go old school and just use a spoon like my aunties and my grandmas did, all right? They didn't use no bags. They had spoons. And we're just going to sit here and pipe each one of these, uh, these eggs and make them look real pretty, okay? Like I said, if you want to use a spoon, you can definitely use a spoon. But this does make the process a lot easier. And honey, a devil egg ain't a devil egg until you put a little paprika on top, okay? And I just put a little fancy uh, little grass on there. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. That's a child. 
But anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching as always. Thank you for supporting my channel. I hope y'all enjoyed this very simple, easy recipe. And I'll see y'all next time in the next video. Bye!